Hi, welcome back to the channel, The Sunshine and Country. Um, if you haven't yet, please hit that subscribe button and like and share and comment. We really would appreciate it. Today, I wanted to talk a little bit about eggs. Um, we've got three eggs here. This one came from an amber link, which is a hybrid chicken. This one came from a Sussex, a uh, speckled Sussex, and this one came from an Easter Egger. And as you can see, they're all three different sizes. I go in on them. But look at this one. I'm not sure if it's a double yoker or what. But uh, another thing I'd like to point out is we um, have never used an incubator and I had heard from some of the older old timer people generation of course some of them would just raise their chickens and just eat the roosters you know but um, if you're wanting to hatch out for female eggs now I'm not going to guarantee this for you but I'm just going to tell you how it's gone for me um, we hatched out four eggs yes, uh, last year not yesterday <laughs> but uh, last year and um, what I did was I took note of the fertile eggs because they they had already fertilized the ones they were going to fertilize before I had found out about this so we had one egg that was shaped like this see how it's more round see how it's not real pointy at the top see how this one is see how it's pointy and see how that one is pointy so what I was told by some of the old timer people who've raised chickens for eons in the country is that the rounder shape will hatch a female and the pointier shape will hatch a rooster now I don't know like I said I don't know how true that is for everyone but it's worth a try if you want to hatch naturally just be prepared um i know for a fact out of the four eggs that we hatched we had one that was rounded not quite this big but it was rounded like this and we did hatch a female out of it and we had several that were like this and they turned out all males so it did work for us and we hatched ours the natural way they were not incubated so that's just something to kind of think about here's another egg look at that one see how it's round all around very rounded it's got some dirty stuff on it still it needs to be cleaned but it's very round I would say this would be a female Let's get another one out some are kind of hard to tell because they're a little bit pointy like this one it's a little bit pointy but not too much so I would kind of say this is a 50 50 but I would lean more towards it maybe being a female because the other Easter egg or eggs that turned out to be males were very pointy like this um, and this isn't just for Easter eggers it's for any breed see how that's rounded so that's the female now these are not fertile eggs that I know of these are eggs that we, we're going to be selling so they're not fertile but when we decide if we decide we want to raise any more chicks this year I'm going to really test this method out good so this one here see it's kind of pointy I'm going to have to test it out this year to see if um, the ones that are slightly pointy but not quite completely round, what hatches out of those. But I know for sure if they're round like this, we've always hatched the females out so far. And if they're pointy like this, we always got a male. So, But the ones that are kind of in between... I would say uh, it's a toss-up as far as that goes. Well, I just wanted to share some information. Hopefully, it'll be helpful. 
something to think about anyways and you can check in more and do more research into it and maybe that'll help you if you're wanting to hatch out a higher rate of females you could try it out and see if that works have a sunshiny day